Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the oligopoly. With that said, let's get into it. Think of an airline industry where just a handful of carriers control most of the market. In an oligopoly, a small number of firms dominate, leading to strategic interactions among them when it comes to pricing strategies, and they have their own set of key features. First, there's only a few dominant firms, so a limited number of companies hold significant market share in an industry. The second key feature is interdependence. Each firm's pricing and output decisions depend on their competitors, so they all must communicate with each other to know the optimal settings. Finally, there's a potential for collusion. So speaking of that, firms may work together to set prices or to limit output so they can keep their margins and their profits high. Let's take a look at a couple of real world examples, starting with airlines. Major players like Delta, American Airlines, and Southwest dominate the market, often responding to each other's pricing and route decisions. Next, we have something like telecommunications. So there's companies like AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, which control a significant share in the market in the US. And for Canada, that would be Rogers and Bell but nonetheless, they influence pricing and service plans based on their competitors' moves. And finally, we have this last one, which maybe you could consider monopolistic competition. It depends on how you look at it, but I'm going to say automobile manufacturers. So back in the day, we just had the big North American companies competing in a concentrated market. Again, this was especially notable in North America, and they often engaged in promotional pricing and new product launches to attract customers. Now, as more brands gain popularization, this particular example can look more and more like monopolistic competition than an oligopoly, but it started out as a very strong oligopoly. We hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know what economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.